I'll have a glass of red wine, make it a large one. What's the magic word? Abracadabra. You all right, Tracy? Yes, I'm fine. What's the matter with you? You've got a face like a yard of gravy. Oh, I know what it is. That aim is moving out today. Mind your own business, grease monkey. All right, keep your head on. Evan's got the afternoon off because he's moving in with, so I've heard nothing but all morning. Well, I thought it would be cause for celebration, you know, free at last. Yeah, no more banging on the door at night when she's lost the keys. Yeah, no more grunting boyfriends cluttering up the living room. Yeah, no more getting up on glue than selling your best shoes for the next hit of a Brit stick. Mm. What teenagers do you know? Yeah, they are quite close, to be fair. It's quite sweet, I reckon. Will you all stop psychoanalyzing me? I'm fine. I couldn't live with a teenager in me. Not my time of life. Have you got any kids, Glenda? Oh, no. Me and my first husband discussed it many a time, but I couldn't. Oh, oh I'm sorry, love. What, some medical? No. Looking at my first husband, I just couldn't. <laughs> 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 oh, I used to use that as an icebreaker during my duty medley on board the ships. Oh, I went down a storm every time. <laughs> you never know whether you're being serious, you. Yeah, it's all part of the magic, that is me. Well, as much as I'd love to be part of this witty banter, I'm going to go and sit over there on my own and stare into space. Ooh. Jenny, do you think Tracy's all right? How do you mean? Well, she doesn't seem like her usual self. For which I think we should be extremely grateful. Don't be tight. Well, if you're that concerned about her, go and talk to her. Me? Poor. No chance. Well, Steve is your best mate. Yeah, he might be, but she's not. She scares me. Oh, for goodness sake, get hold of yourself. Here, go give her this and keep her company. Are you a man or a mouse? Well, is there a middle option to her in between? All right. Yeah? Is anybody sitting there? Yeah. My dead grandmother, Blanche. She sat there telling me all about the Knit and Natter Club she's got going on up there with Princess Di, Tommy Cooper and Whitney Houston. You're making a joke. Nothing gets past you, does it, Tim? Oh, sit down. You're making the place look untidy. <coughs> What's that? It's for you. Is this some sort of a prank? What, can't a bloke buy his best mate's wife a drink when she's feeling a bit down? No. Not usually, unless he's trying to get into her knickers. Uh, no, I know. I knew this was a bad idea. Tim, sit down. I'm just in a bad mood, that's all. Oh. Is it because Amy's moving out, like Kev said? You know, that house next door, it used to be full of women. That's what got me thinking about Blanche just now. There was her, my mum, me, Amy. Dad used to feel like he was being ganged up on. The Golden Girls versus him, he used to say. Yeah, it's just me now. Well, Daisy and Daniel are there, though, now, aren't they? Squatters don't count. Oh. Amy's moved out before, though, hasn't she? Yeah, but I knew that was a disaster. And she'd be back with a washing before the end of the day. No, this feels different. Well, maybe me, you and Sal and Steve should hang out a bit more. Is that supposed to cheer me up? Uh, now, what's this I hear about someone feeling down in the dumps? Uh, it's, it's not a good time. Yeah. No. Now, can I let you into a little secret? When I'm feeling like gloomy Glenda, there's a little song that I sing to myself which never fails to put a smile on my face. Would you like to hear it? No. I'd rather eat ground glass. Please go away. There you go. There's the Tracy that we know and love so well. 